Now, you remember when they did the last reunion when, when DX came out, and I was very critical of the segment because I didn't think... I thought it started well where they wanted to kind of get the band back together and Paul was like, I'm working, I'm working, I'm working. And I thought they could have done that through the show. They did it once and then they put them in the ring at the end. This was perfect because it was that old school sensibility. He was clearly ad-libbing a bunch of shit. That way I popped like crazy when he <laughs> called Road Dog Butterbean. <laughs> that was pretty awesome. Now, I thought, I, I thought with Kurt having the, um, the sweatpants, with the sweatpants on, that he was going to, like, those were going to unsnap, and he was going to have on the Mr. Ass shorts. Oh, for Billy. That would have been funny. For Billy. That would have been yeah. funny. But I guess they're not going to give. They looked, I mean, Sean should have had the fucking DX t-shirt underneath the jacket. Well, like, what's the deal? Now, why, you know, why the Outlaw Josie Wales fucking deal? Like, I know that's how he, but you're in the ring now. You're playing your old character. Can you lose the hat? I, no, I, 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 I thought it was cool. It just I mean, seemed out of place based on everybody else. I think it's a McGraw move. You know, McGraw doesn't take his hat off. All right, but at least the t-shirt. Fine. Uh, at least the t-shirt, right? Yeah. Now, this fucking guy, he, I, I'm sorry, but he, I, I mean, he's not frightening to me. The fucking whatever. Well, how many are today? I mean, you just. Especially the fucking two... Uh, His two bodyguards? <laughs> yeah, you know, fuck. I come out of a cold lake bigger than those motherfuckers. Look yeah. at his mouth. Oh, stop. Look at his mouth. Oh! I see a little tongue in there as well, fucking, popping yeah. that cheek out. And by the way, fucking really, Mohawk? The Imperium uh, um, faction confronting yeah. DX. When he go, did when he go, did the booking go. thing and he uh, and they brought out Teddy for a half a second, I thought Russo might come out when he said, "I need help booking this." I don't know their relationship with him these days, but um, oh, you got to give Teddy a rub. He made it a six man player. He made it a six man. Yeah, no, I I actually that was a, <coughs> not because it's my boys either, and I thought fucking Kurt did a hell of a job. You know, Kurt, he Kurt, did. You know, Kurt. Kurt's. I mean, Kurt is so fucking great at everything: interviews, comedy. Not a better worker ever in the ring. There's never been a better worker in, in, in the ring than him. And he, once again, here's a guy that came in with a broken neck. Mm -hmm. Like you know, here's a guy that came. He came in damaged. You know, so yeah, you know, I didn't, I didn't know uh, Kurt with the comedy thing. I didn't know how that would work, but he was great. I mean, he oh, was, he, remember when he had he the little cowboy hat and all that shit and the little fucking oh yeah, yeah, he yeah, he's not afraid. Yeah, his, his I mean, his earliest. So days, so Steve, 